Hi, my name is Kim Lee, and I'm a celebrity makeup artist, and I'm listening to Seasons Radio. Uh, my company is called The Kim Lee, that's T-H-E-E-K-Y-M-L-E-E, -E -E, and um, it is an offspring of Outer Skin's Image Group, and Outer Skin's Image Group is a collective effort of uh, women who work in the industry. We all are work in the beauty industry, and um, my business partner and I, Angelique Austin, started the company about 15 years ago, and uh, we've all since branched off and are now doing our own thing but we uh, operate in the areas of makeup, hair, and wardrobe and I am a makeup artist, celebrity makeup artist and um, I've been doing celebrity for about uh, about 15 years now. I decided to get into this business as a child. I grew up in a salon. I was a salon baby and um, just working around beautiful women and just loving to see the end result of, of you know with them coming in. Just always did something that was very fascinating to me to see how women would transform and blow into this, these beautiful flowers that I like to call women. So uh, that was kind of my, my inspiration was working in my family salon. And I was a, a law major. Uh, at undergrad, I was a, a communications major, journalism major, and um, went on from there to law school at Georgetown University. And I used to have the Vogue magazine pressing the pages of my civil procedures books. And I remember just feeling like, you know, this was just could be my end. But I thought, you know, this was probably the best way for me to make an honest living or make a lot of money. And um, so, but I had to go with my passion and now my passion has met my purpose in life and I left law school after my first year and went back to the salon and decided to do something different and got a phone call from a family friend who is actually a nationally known makeup artist. His name is Derek Rutledge. He services Michelle Obama and Oprah Winfrey and uh, he was a very close friend of the family and he uh, called to do uh, one of my relatives and said he was looking for an assistant and um, I said, oh well, I know beauty. I know the beauty industry. Why don't I just go help you out? Come and help you out. So I went and helped him out at BET, and I've been at BET ever since. And so um, when he left BET to service Patti LaBelle and Shaka Khan, I kind of sat followed in his footsteps. Was responsible for all of the shows at BET, dating all the way back to Teen Summit and those shows from way back in the day. And so um, I'm just really grateful for that door opening up and me, you know, taking heed to that phone call and, and being willing to be, you know, his assistant and change my career uh, path. And so now the rest is history. I've been at BET every since been doing celebrities every since so I'm really thankful Kim can you tell us some of the artists that you service sure um, I was um, just recently I was Whitney Houston's makeup artist for Sparkle so we just got finished doing Sparkle and of course unfortunately you know um, we finished right before her death um, and doing Grammy weekend so Whitney Houston Angela Bassett is my client um, I also uh, service Carrie Washington Fantasia and countless other you know countless other artists uh, Megan Good and Tika Sumter, Paula Patton, Carmen Jogo. I've even done Fergie from Black Eyed Peas. So I've had quite an extensive career. I was even on, on the campaign trail with Hillary Clinton when she ran against uh, our wonderful President President Obama. So I'm just really thankful that my career has really had a great span of, of, of different opportunities. I mean, I could be one day in New York and the next day I could be in L.A. But um, for the most part, day to day, it's spent, you know, just kind of following up with clients and, you know, answering emails, anywhere from that to ordering products, planning classes for uh, up-and-coming artists. Um, another day could just be, you know, me kind of, you know, taking a walk through the mall and seeing what's hot and what's not um, and, 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 and actually going into onto the counters. I actually still go to the counters and I do a little shopping, like a little mystery shopper, just to see what, you know, the, the, the girls at the counters say is hot and what they feel is their, their best products because I like to, you know, know what, what the deal is. And sometimes I hope that they don't recognize me and um, some of them do you know and they'll say you know who you're talking to you know they'll tell the person the girl at the counter this can we and I always feel so embarrassed but I like to just kind of ask, like, what's your favorite product? Like, what do you like? And I like to get that from those that will work right in the trenches because they know the products that work. They're working on, the, you know, women every day. And so, you know, whether you're a celebrity or you're a woman who works, you know, as a teacher or whatever, you're still a woman. And so I want to know what works. And so I, I still like to go to, you know, go to the counters and, and get those great products and feel them and touch them and play with them and, you know, and, and try them even on myself. I even actually solicit the girls to do my makeup because I want to see how it's going to look on me. I don't want to put anything on anyone that won't look good on me. So my days can consist of all of those things. I try to do something makeup related every day. Um, if it's not just watching a fashion show, kind of catching up on my reading in my magazines, but or going to the mall or even just following up with clients that every day is infused with beauty for me. If I can give advice to any artist that's coming
coming up or just to kind of give you some of the attributes that I think all of us as celebrity artists probably all have and I, I actually think this to be true is that we are all consistent um, we're very consistent in our talent and our craft we you know we try to stay up to date with the latest in, um, in products and product knowledge and technology um, and so you know we're always ever changing and we don't get stuck in, in, in what we know all the time we're very open to suggestions I think that makes for a great artist my second uh, suggestion or my second um, attribute that I think is important for a celebrity artist is to is to have good follow up with our clients to make sure that once we service them that we ask you know how's everything is, was everything okay and, you know and, and, and following up with management to make sure that you know that the artist is always happy um, I never say no to an artist I try to always uh, keep them happy and to you know kind of have that I don't call it the Chick-fil-A approach you know they are, I'm always smiling and trying to make sure that you know my clients are are, are well attended to and that I never say no and I always try to make you know things right if I can't do it but um so follow up and never saying no always be open to um suggestions and you know with the economy being the way it is a lot of times celebrities might not use the same artist for every event so they may have an east coast artist versus a west coast artist you know a southern artist and so forth and so what I like to do is if you know if artists are open to it and we service the same celebrity I like to have those kind of di- that dialogue with them to ensure sure that we're using a lot of the same product so you know we know what works and if that look works you know on that person I know that you know with Derek who is my mentor Derek Rutledge if he ever you know you know allowed me to do Oprah you know I would say Derek what did you use on Oprah because I want to know what you use because I, if the wheel isn't broken no need for us to fix it and so I think with artists sometimes you know we because it is our I know our art is our you know it's, it's who we are you know sometimes people can kind of get funny when they don't want to take advice from other people I'm very open to advice I'm very open to suggestions and so I think that makes for a good artist when you're able to say hey she likes this she doesn't like that I would use this and that if the again if the wheel isn't broken let's not try to fix it let's just go with what's safe and I think you know clean flawless beauty always works you know certainly you can put your spin on it because they all obviously trust you but I think it works really well when we all work together as a team and there are several people that I work together with that I you know I, I constantly talk all the time about our, our tricks and our secrets you know Sam Fine and I are really you know good friends and of course Derek Rutledge and um, you know Dee Kelly several of my friends from the west coast so I'm just thankful to have those relationships with those artists where we can come together and make for you know the perfect beauty or the perfect situation in someone so you know I would definitely suggest you know again those three things would to be open-minded to have you know consistency and to and to have develop good relationships and never say no my name is Kim Lee and I'm a celebrity makeup artist and I'm listening to Seasons Radio. If you'd like to get in contact with me, you can do it. Of course, all the media is work. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter. I also have a website, but all under Kim Lee, that's K-Y-M-L-E-E. I'm on Twitter, it's the Kim Lee, that's T-H-E-E. K-Y-M-L-E-E. Um, so please tweet me, Facebook me. Hit me up. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much.